Don't watch this shit. No good fucking TV. It's a load of bollocks. Put on fucking a soap or something. Because this is crap. Ugly fucking presenters. Gay fucking cameraman. I'm off. <laughs> What interests you? The city. Because no one's ever captured it. Not the way it really is. That's my goal. That's my dream. Then you're failing. The next time you find yourself at the heart of the city, stay put. Keep shooting. What's up, boys and girls? I have fucking Vinnie Jones right here at the Shark Tank bar. How are you? You're, you're here to uh, promote Midnight Me Train. Midnight Me Train, yeah. Pretty kick-ass title, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and in this, you know, I'm an out-and-out -out serial killer. Mm -hmm. You know, a strange dude. Mad? <laughs> Completely mad. He's off the trolley. And I've got a briefcase of all my tools in, and, and I go, go on the subway and pick people out. These are all your gynecology tools, right? Yeah. They all look the same, all those little metal hooks and things and... Yeah, they're pretty, you know, they, they put the shitters up there, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know. When I kill people, you know, if it's a girl, you know, like the, the Japanese girl, you know, I wipe the lipstick off, cut the eyelids off, and then I hook them up upside down and then proceed to, to skin them. So, uh yeah, pretty intense. You sort of have to go home and have a bottle of wine after each day's work, I'm saying that, because it, yeah, it puts the creeps up, yeah. That's what I do usually with my friends, too. Yeah, bring them home, hang them up, skin them. Isn't yeah, that what everybody does? Well, it depends, you know, not, not the English girls, they don't. They put skins on, they don't take them off. <laughs> From the outside, he looks a normal fella, really. And, he, and I take my shirt off, and he's got all these barnacles growing on him. You know, so now you know that he's a sick fucker. We had to add a scalpel, and then you, you look in the mirror, and I was I was cutting them off, and then all the shit was coming out of them, and everything. It was pretty gross, you know. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. <laughs> big balls and barnacles. <laughs> mm. And the barnacles make the balls look bigger. <laughs> Got the vertical I've still got them on now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to sell this movie, then, huh? Yeah. Big balls and barnacles. My holy shit moment was my first line in Hollywood, where we were doing uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. I didn't say anything until this monologue at the end. So now I've had nearly six months to rehearse this, <laughs> you know, like ten lines. On the morning, the director takes one line out the middle, which completely bollocks me. I'm at now, I'm, I don't know where I am, I'm all over the place. Six months down the drain. And as I look, there's Nick Cage, Angelina Jolie, Bobby DeVal, Scott Kahn, and uh, my arsehole just dropped out. <laughs> and when it was my line, I went, fuck it. <laughs> that was my first line in Hollywood. Nicholas Cage just went, and walked off. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what was ever left of my arsehole had completely gone. Then I went, I just start drinking the beer <laughs> with a oh. big old fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. A big fuck it. Midnight Meat Train. This is Vinnie Jones from the Midnight Meat Train. It's a mean, slim, steel fighting machine. Rackin' watch it. I get two minutes with meat? What? <laughs> You haven't had any sex for a while. Is, you? Can you tell? Right? <laughs> you fucking sounding very horny. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Mr. Come Jones, on. what are you doing later? <laughs> Want to hang out? I'm not knock one out thinking about it. <laughs> I'd like to see your meat train. <laughs> Who's your daddy? It's no good.